Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. Today we're going to be making something that might be useful for you if you're a musician or if you have a musician in your life. This could be a great gift. Today we're going to be building a basic guitar stand. That's right, we're going to be doing this with a couple of two by threes and some poplar wooden dowels. Shouldn't be that hard to do. The first thing we're going to do is cut the lengths of our boards over at the miter saw. All right, so for this project, we're going to need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five boards. We're going to need one that's 36 inches, two that are 18 inches, a 14 inch board, and an 11 inch board. So let's go ahead and get all those cut out. All right, here we are at the table saw. Like I said earlier, we're making this guitar stand out of two by threes, which are actually one and a half by two and a half. So the first thing we're gonna do is rip off these round over edges and we'll wind up with our boards being one and a half by two inches. We're back over here at the miter saw to make a few cuts on uh, three of our boards. We have our feet here, and this is the board we'll be using for the rack or the seat that the guitar sits in. Uh, we're just going to cut some miters on the ends to give it a little more character. All right, now it's time to do a little bit more work on our support piece that goes at the bottom of the stand. Now this is gonna have two three quarter inch dowels sticking out like this. The guitar will rest on these dowels. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill two holes in this that are 10 inches apart so we can glue these dowels in. And now it's time to get started on the next support for our guitar stand. This is a piece of three quarter inch pine. The first thing we're gonna do here is rip this down to three and a half inches wide. Now the next thing we need to do for our next support is drill a two inch hole with this two inch hole saw. back over here at the miter saw because there's one more thing we need to do, well two, to our neck rest. We're going to cut this to its final length which will be three and a half inches and then we'll just slightly miter the back corners to give it a little more shape. All right we have our neck rest here Now we're going to attach this to the back with a dado so it will stick out like this. So I'm going to use the table saw now to cut this dado three quarters of an inch deep. Now that we have all of our parts cut out, we'll go ahead and drill some pilot holes and countersinks for our screws. All right. 
right, the next thing we need to do before we assemble this guitar stand is to give all these pieces a nice sanding. We're just gonna use 120 grit, but it's gonna be much easier to give everything a sanding now before it's put together. <laughs> time to assemble this guitar stand. For that we're going to be using two and a half inch screws and a couple of three inch screws and of course some wood glue. down to the last step in the project we have stirred up our finish this is a uh, penetrating stain it's oil-based semi-transparent in true black we used this on a coat rack uh, not too long ago and we really love the way this looks on pine we thought this would be a great choice because it won't compete with the colors in the guitar so let's go ahead and get this finished
And there you have it, the finished product. We've got a guitar stand built out of construction grade 2x3s and a few pieces of Dell. I'd say altogether, maybe 6 or $7 it took to build this. And I think the black stain on this is just really unique. Um, it's really, really nice. This is kind of an out-of-the-box project for us. Uh, we saw a need. His dad actually uh, didn't appear to have a guitar stand, and, and he plays guitar. And we thought, hey, why don't we just build one? And so that's how we came up with this idea. Um, I think there are probably a couple of things that we would do differently next time. Yeah, we probably should angle the dowels maybe up just a little bit if you're going to put an acoustic guitar on there. Electric would probably be fine the way it is. Acoustic guitar might need a little bit of angle on those dowels. Why don't you show us how it works? Got the old Martin here. There you go. And like I said, the choice of black stain, you can see it really helps bring out the beauty of the guitar and not so much the piece itself. Uh, and it's housing this guitar beautifully. Hey, if you like this project and this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook and also at woodsongsbyrussell.com. Thanks again for joining us today. Happy woodworking!